Hello Cancer, my name is Agatha and this is your tarot forecast for the month of May 2017. This is a very general reading if you'd like a private consultation. Please send an email to duniaza.gmail.com and I'd be delighted to work with you. Before we uh, go to the reading, I'll just, uh, I'll just like to leave you some messages. If you'd like to support me and my channel, uh, you can do that by making a donation of any kind to my PayPal account, which is duniaza.gmail.com. Dot com and I'd be grateful for any type of donation. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, as you know, there's something that's going on with the uh, with YouTube. There's a few advertisers uh, that left YouTube. I think they'll come back. But for now, uh, most of our av advertiser revenue is <whistles> gone down. And uh, so, if you'd like to support me and my work, there's also another way. Uh, which would be, if you like, to purchase my Caressa cards. And they are, uh, you can buy them at the, the Game Crafter. And they're mine. I made them. Uh, the Game Crafter is an American site. So these are not tarot. This is not a tarot deck. This is not an oracle deck. Uh, I will uh, read from behind to tell you exactly what this is. 40 cards to help you build a long-lasting and loving relationship with your partner. Learn and practice the Caressa method. Just pick one or more cards and follow the instructions. And that's it. Do it every day and soon you will see and experience positive results, which are more harmonious and carrying union. So I'll show you a few cards. Okay, behind it's like this. And, you know, below it's the, the text that you can follow. Slow dance with your partner. Uh, and if you already have like a loving relationship, these are the items you can use. If you have already a loving relationship with your partner, spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, and you feel that you really don't need this, you you can still buy it for fun, you know, to use it with with your partner, or you can um, use this to give as a, a gift, maybe to a family member, maybe to a friend, uh, someone who might feel that um, they having they're having tough times with their marriage this might help to build a long lasting relationship which is my intention is and was my intention when i made these cards um if you like going to a wedding or something like that this is a nice nice gift to give also you know so that's it you know if you like you can purchase my these decks, yes, this deck, my Carasa Cards deck. Okay, let's go to the reading. I'm going to use Cancer. I'm going to use the Mystical Wisdom Card deck. And for the Oracle message, you know, uh, for the, the, the general message, which is going to be a 10 card reading, uh, I'm going to use the Celtic Cross. Uh, I'm using the Tarot Illuminati. So, we're going to start with the message, uh, the Oracle message. Okay, pick A or B. What is the, the message for you for May 2017, Cancer? What is the message, like the general message, the advice for you for 2017, Cancer? For May 2017. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm not, I'm going to see them, but I'm not going to use them. Okay, let's just keep going. General message for Gemini. Uh, not Gemini, I'm sorry, Cancer. Cancer, 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 May 2017. Okay. Two cards. Pick A or B, A or B, A or B. Have you picked? No, A. Oh. Uh, the ones that I was shuffling, this is one of them. Resilience, rise above tribula tribulations. So, the general advice for you, Cancer, in May 2017, is to build resilience and to rise above tribulations. All, tri all the tribulations that you might encounter during May 2017, they are, they are helpful because they are helping you build character and build resilience, you know. B, if you picked the option B, what is the message for you, is go with the flow. Go with the flow, let things happen. Don't try to control anything, just go with the flow and let things naturally happen, okay? And try to have fun while while you uh, uh, allowing things to happen. Now, 
Cancer, 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 May 2017. What is, you know, the, for right, the forecast for you, Cancer, for May 2017. Okay. Let's start. Week one. Okay, I thought it was reversed, it wasn't reversed. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, okie dokie. How many major arcana cards that you got? You got one, two, three. Okay, it's not. It might be a, a month of transformation, yes, but at the same time it might be like transformation and change that maybe you were already expecting because you got three major arcana cards in a ten card reading. So I'm not thinking it, it, that it's major. It could be major, yes, but if it is major, it's something that you've expected, I would say, Cancer. Now, starting... Starting with the significator or the general theme for the month of May 2017, Cancer, you have the death card. No one is dying. Okay. It's, again, it's a major transformation for some of you. But I'm thinking that maybe you probably already expected it. For instance, if you left a job and you're about to start a new one, this card might show up. If you uh, recently got married... This card might show up. If you're about to have a kid and you, you have your chi had your child, this card might show up. It, it's a transformation in your life. Like it's the end of the cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. That's the general theme for you, Cantor, in May 2017. Now, that which you, uh, that which is yet not seen, you have the Princess of Swords, which is, uh, oh my god, no, I forget. I think the princess is what? The princess is the page. Yeah, the princess is the page of swords in traditional decks. So, I, I'm, I'm getting a lot of kids. I don't know why, like the last three readings, it's just kids, 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 kids. I, I'm, I'm going to go with the same subject. I don't know why. Imagine that you were pregnant or your spouse or your girlfriend is pregnant. Maybe the kid showed up earlier. Maybe this transformation... Uh, arrived happened like I don't know maybe a month early, earlier than that you expected so maybe this transformation this change this beginning of a new cycle begins earlier than you thought maybe let's say that you needed to you need to go to a new job and everything is arranged for you to go to a new job I have a friend that is about to leave one place and is about to start in another place, but he, exactly, he doesn't know exactly when. So it could be something like that, that maybe you get a message, because this could be a message also saying you have to start two weeks earlier. You have to start this month. Instead, instead of the next month, you have to start right away. So it's a message that tells you that this beginning of a new cycle needs to happen fast, needs to happen earlier, or, you, or your kid, if there's a kid coming in, I'm thinking pregnancy. Uh, the child is born earlier. Could be that as well. Now, what is the root? The root of the matter. You have the Prince of Pentacles. Uh, the Prince of Pentacles, Cancer, usually denotes uh, stuff that events that happen slowly. So you're like preparing slowly for this change. You're already preparing for this change for a very long time. You've been preparing for this change. For, for this transformation in your life, for this new cycle in your, not, your, in your life, and you might have had like the, um, the feeling that things were not advancing really quick, but at the same time, I'm thinking that they were advancing slowly, but, and you had the time to prepare for this change. You had the time to go over the details and to really prepare, even economically, to whatever this change is. Maybe you had the time to, you know, uh, move to a different city because you were expecting this, uh, this change. And maybe you had time to buy a new car. Maybe because you you needed a car. Maybe you had time to buy all the things that you needed to buy to um, greet this new child. You know, you had time to make the the house ready for this baby. 
um, you had time to prepare. You had time to go every single little detail. That's what I'm thinking. Now, the past connected with May, with the reading of May 2017. The past is, could be like two to three months ago. You have the Alchemist, which is the mag magician, which is always my favorite card. Um, you've started something new, maybe two to three months ago. Something new, a new phase in your life, I would say. You determined this new route, something that you manifested, this change you manifested it. It could be even like a new business, you know, or yeah, on the side, but something uh, different, or you've, uh, I don't know, uh, you see the guy studying something, maybe you were, you took a class, or you took some training, two to three months ago, something like that, and this will help you out in this new job, in this new path, in this new career, whatever it is, okay? Uh, I'm thinking whatever this change is in your life, you you seek it out. This card is also connected, you know, the Prince of Pentacles, which is the Knight of, of Pentacles in traditional decks, is also connected with studies. Yeah, you studied something, you went to training, you took a course, something like this to help you out in this new, because you wanted to move, you wanted to change your life, you wanted to go, you wanted to take your life in a different direction and you took steps, okay, it was your decision, I would say, Cancer. Now, what is in your mind? Or what you want, Cancer, for May 2017, you have the Princess of Pentacles, which is another page. This is the page of Pentacles in traditional decks. Again, it's, I'm thinking new job, new career. For others, it could be um, more training. You want to further your training. So it's maybe like finishing up some sort of course, some sort of training which will allow you to go to, let's say, phase two or step two or the, the next course within this new career that you might want. Or it could be because you're studying it and you're preparing, Cancer, you're preparing for this. Or Princess of Pentacles, again, another page. This, again, could be the child uh, is in your mind, that the money, if there's a child coming in, if you're about to become a mother uh, or a father or a parent, I'm sorry, and this could even be adopting a kid, and the kid might be arrive might be arriving sooner than expected. You're thinking about all the money that you have to spend. Uh, no, but you you're okay with it. You're okay with spending all the money and like being fin financially prepared to receive this child. Or again, like I said, this is a new job. This could even be a, b a new business. You know, maybe you don't need to work for others anymore. Maybe you're working for yourself. You're opening up your own business and you're like kind of happy with it uh, you, and you want this to be successful you know that's uh, that's what's on your on your mind your job your new business that you're opening up now the near future the card that came out for you <laughs> hmm, pentacles a lot of pentacles cancer how many other pentacles one yeah another one okay king of pentacles might represent someone might represent a male because it showed up as a king, uh, from a, a uh, how do you say, earth sign, uh, in Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, uh, in his, could be a woman as, as well, but I'm thinking more, it's like a guy, his late 30s or after the age of 40, I'm thinking more after the age of 40, whomever this person is, this person is the money guy. This person has lots of money, lots of success. So, or this can represent a company. You're going to work for a company, you're going to be paid more. This is a very well-established company. This might be, might even be your new boss. Uh, you're going to be paid more and you might even be the boss. Okay? It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, you might have a new position of power or you might have a new boss or you might be working in a, in a very well-established company and um, you might be, be paid more, there's more stability in your life. Uh, this could also be like an investor, maybe someone invested in your business, maybe you had like an original idea, a very good idea, and you worked everything out, and you researched it very well, and there's this guy who's investing in your business uh, idea, and so you're going to deal more with him, because he's the one who puts 
puts the min, the, who uh, you know is uh, investing the money. If you're having a kid, this could be your I'm thinking your husband. And he might be from a Taurus sign. Why? Because there's Taurus. You see here? You see here? So, yeah. So this could be your 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 husband. And he, he feels safe. And he's like, a, he's like a safe harbor. He's safe and stable in all sorts of ways, even emotionally. And you can depend on this person. You can depend on him. Uh, to, so this is a very stable... You have... I'm thinking you are uh, in a very good, uh, stable relationship. And in terms of money, you both are prepared to have a child. Uh, now, the card which represents you, the way you feel, you have the Two of Cups. This is the, the, the Soulmate card. You feel, again, um, safe, you know. Uh, you feel like you are the, with the person uh, with whom you should be. Uh, you are with your soulmate, and your you and your soulmate are advancing to the next phase of your life, Cancer, uh, which I would say it's having a child. It could be something else, you know, or uh, or if you I don't know are opening up a business. Uh, of some kind, you might be opening up this business with a partner who sees the same way as you do. Not, it could be a romantic partner, yes, but not necessarily because you can have soulmates of any type. Okay, soulmates is uh, basically it's, uh, it's people who kind of see eye to eye. They see the same way. The they feel the way you feel. So. Let's say you have a love of, I don't know, gaming, whatever, and you just love gaming and just encounter this person who feels the same way that you do about gaming. You just love games so much and gaming and you decide to open up a shop together, maybe, I don't know, and you find an investor or this person is the one who, who has the money and you feel like I've, I've never, you feel that you've encountered the person who gets you, who understands the love that you have for games. I just said games, it could be anything else, I don't know, butterflies, whatever. Whatever just makes you happy, uh, Cancer. And this not, doesn't does not have to be a romantic partner, but someone who really understands your point of view. And you can have soulmates of any kind. Your family members can be your soulmates, your grandfather, your, your uh, sibling, uh, your son, your daughter. Um, to me, it's just like a card that tells me that you feel safe, emotionally safe, that you are protected. Uh, the next card is represents others or how others see you. You have the Seven of Pentacles. It's another, uh, another Pentacles card. So if this is a partner who invested money in your business, uh, they might be thinking, you know, they like... Uh, they might be thinking about their investment. Will this pay off? Will this not pay off? Something like that. If you're thinking about that. Or if you have been hired to, a new, to work in a new company, uh, maybe someone who hired you is thinking about that, it's thinking about, was this the right choice? You know? I'm also thinking that maybe someone invested, uh, invested in you in terms of Training. Someone invested in you, a company invested in you in terms of training, and they will then send you to another to work in another company within the same mother company, let's call it, quote, unquote. And they're like thinking, well, the, the investment that we made in, in him or her, in, in you, cancer, is about to pay off because you're about to start working with them. Uh, others might be seeing you as someone who's thinking and pondering, you know, about all the investments that you did to your in in yourself in your life, maybe you train, maybe no one invested in you in your training, maybe you you were the one who decided to, uh, you know, to change something about your life, and you decided to invest in you uh, by taking a few courses, and people are seeing that okay, it's about to pay off. That's what they're seeing, and at the same time, they're seeing that you. 
you are um, still pondering, still thinking, still reflecting, but at the same time about to start a new, a new cycle in your life. This, if if there's a pregnancy, I'm thinking you might be seven months pregnant, or your your partner might be seven months pregnant, and the kid comes too soon. That's what I'm thinking. Um, the next card is hopes, fears, advice, dreams. You have the five of wands. There's like inner conflict within yourself. You think that maybe you're not prepared. You're not fully prepared because you've been preparing. You've been preparing for a very long time and you are prepared, but your fear is that you're not prepared for everything. If you're about to start a new job in a new company or the same company but in a new city, you're afraid that people will not accept you if you have some sort of leadership position. You're afraid that you there will be too much competition, and you will not. And you'll be afraid that you'll have to fight many people in order to be heard. If this is a new business that you decided, because you you've painted, you've uh, invent, invented something new, or you've painted painted ah you have a patent patent patent. Like two or three months ago, and maybe finally, uh, it's you have you have this patent. You're afraid that the competition is too much. If you're opening up a business, you're afraid that because there's too much competition, will I be able to, you know, pull through? And these are very at the same time. These are many many inner um, inner strugglings. In a strugglings because you don't feel that you're prepared for everything. I think you are. I think you're more than prepared, Cancer. I don't know why, but I feel that you're more than prepared. Uh, the outcome is the world, which is tells me again. It's a confirmation of the death card. It's the beginning of a new cycle, and you'll begin it, and you'll be very successful. You'll be very successful in this new cycle, in this new path of your life. And if there's a child, the child might be coming in at the end of the month. This could also be adoption, and this could be a foreign child. Either you go, go abroad to uh, get your kids, or your kid arrives uh, to your country, wherever you live, something like that. It could be a, a foreign child whom you adopt, or uh, again, like a new job that you start. Doesn't matter if it's for for others or for yourself. Whatever it is, it's just really a new cycle in your life, beginning something that ends and something that begins, or a kid that comes that comes to you at the end of the month and uh, might be, be being born at the end of the month, or you might go and get this child uh, at the end of the month. And that's it. This is the reading that I have for you, Cancer. For uh, May 2017, this is a very general reading. If you like a private consultation, please send an email to duniazada.gmail.com and I'd be delighted to work with you. Bye-bye.